Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Hey, Jim Jam. This is none other than George Clooney. <laughs> hey, hi, George. Always a pleasure when you call in, pal. I should certainly hope so. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well, all things considered. Have you seen it yet? Seen what? Come on, don't be coy. I swear to God, I'm not being coy, George. The new Cape Crusader film. Oh, uh, Batman? The Batman is what it's called now, actually. I, I, I thought it was just Batman. Well, that was that was back in the day. Now it's the Batman. <laughs> I can't really say as I approve, full disclosure, I myself was Batman. Yeah. Or the Batman for a brief shining period in the 90s. That's right. 1997's Batman and Robin. Yours yes. truly was the Dark Knight himself. Uh, I, rem I remember it well. Okay. Uh, no, I don't really remember it well. I, I, I'm not really that into that kind of stuff, George. I can't say I blame you. I did it on a lark, basically. But I've always <laughs> sort of felt a little proprietary about that IP, if I'm being honest. Especially since I was the last guy to play Batman for eight years until Christian Bale and Christopher Nolan. And then it, and then it all changed. What, what, what do you mean? How so? Well, it just got so dark. Yeah. Batman used to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, you know? He's a <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. He's a comic book character, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> the movie was just, that I was in, which just can't be fun. Our suits had nipples, for crying out loud. <laughs> how, how fun is that? Just have some fun. Show some nips. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And these new ones they're making, holy shit. <laughs> they're so dark and brooding. No fun at all. No nips anywhere. <laughs> the bat suit isn't fun. He's lonely all the time. Where's Robin? I had a Robin yeah. and a bat girl. Yeah. Give Batman some buddies. You know, slam a few back with. I suppose. And all the villains are fucking psychos now. <laughs> It's a comic book, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Bad guys are supposed to be fun. They don't have to die. Yeah. Our bad guy was Mr. Freeze, played by Arnie Schwartz himself. And at the end, he wasn't killed. He was redeemed. He just wanted to cure his wife of a disease. The movie was shit, but I really liked that aspect of it. Did, did you have fun making it? Oh, we had a time of our lives. Are you kidding? And I think you can tell when you watch it. You can really tell if the cast of a movie had fun while they were making it. These new Batmans, they just drip with humorless method acting. Let me tell you, no one has fun on a set when dudes are walking around method acting. Relax, Larry. It's Hollywood. <laughs> Did you play any of your famous pranks on the set of Batman and Robin? Oh. Did I? <laughs> Chris O'Donnell, he played Robin. And uh, one day I put super glue on the inside of his Robin suit. So when <laughs> filming was done, he couldn't get it off. The whole crew was trying to help him and the poor kid couldn't hold it anymore. He just took a giant crap. <laughs> and the whole crew was like, you're on your own. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> I would imagine not. Oh, and another one. This one was good. So Schwarzenegger was playing Mr. Freeze, right? And he had to get all that makeup. He had to spend five hours a day in makeup, you know, so he'd get the makeup on and all this other crap they were, like, putting on him. And he had to be in this, like, restraining armature, you know, to get it on. So, you know, he couldn't move the whole time. So I would wait till they were just almost done, and I would go in there, and I said, hey, Arnold. He said, what? I said, guess what? He said, what? I said, I just fucked your wife, Maria. <laughs> and he's, of course, he's like, ah, rah, rah, rah. you know, he's trying to get out of this goddamn thing. <laughs> so I start running, you know, across the lot, you know, and finally he, you know, rips himself out. You know, he's, he's chasing me around. He's got all this <laughs> shit on him. You know, by the time he finally catches up with me, I got Maria on the phone and she says, Arnie, it's just a prank. It's just George Clooney doing a prank. And he's like, ah, you got me. <laughs> and then, so he goes back, you know, say, they got to start all over again, you know, because he's ruined the whole thing. So, you know, they get him back in the thing, you know, and they, they do it. Uh -huh. And I wait till another five hours. 
and you know, I, it's almost done. And I go and I say, hey, Arnold, guess what? You know, I had Marie on the phone. We were talking about the prank. We really hit it off. And guess what? I actually did go over there and fuck your wife. <laughs> and, and he goes crazy again. And he tries to rip out of the thing. I'm telling you what, I did this like eight or nine times. <laughs> and I delayed production by three weeks at some point doing all this stuff. And man, Joel Schumacher was going bananas. Do you, do you ever think that these pranks might cross the line, George? Only actually when I do fuck their wives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fun chat, Jim. I got to go, though. Don Cheadle is about to get some very bad news. <laughs> Clooney prank style. <laughs> hey, we've got more dates for our 2022 stand-up tour. We're going everywhere. We're going to Dallas, Houston, Florida. We're going to Omaha, Des Moines, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Ohio, and Los Angeles. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. Mm -hmm.